Hi, I'm Joan Armatradin, and I'm delighted to present this second showcase of singer-songwriting talent from around the country. On my recent Starlight tour of Britain, I invited 56 young singer-songwriters to be the opening support act at each of the venues I was playing around the country. Everyone trying to be somebody, everybody trying to be someone. We selected those 56 from the many hundreds who sent in their music. The pen and paper, they be my best friend. Now I'm going to write something that you can bang out in the western. Rappers, balladeers. The clouds are picking up a storm, the crowds are kicking up a fuss. Pop and blues singers, acoustic folk and world music enthusiasts. Even when I'm sober, I'm still drunk on song. A wonderful raft of new music. I've always been convinced that there are plenty of acts out there with real talent who are as yet unsigned or unknown. I'm going to introduce some of them in a bit more detail and we'll be travelling through Scotland and ending up at the O2 in London. But first, here's a sample of some of the acts that have been part of the local talent. We're walking along the street, we're in Lonehead, which is about five, six miles from Edinburgh, and we're just going to Benny's house to talk to him about his music and his carpentry and things like that. Hi, Leslie, hi. Hi, there. Hi. hi. hi there. Benny. Hi there. Hello, nice Benny. Benny. Benny Tesolati nice became a solo you. artist in 1995 oh, nice with his own brand of afro scott music. He's won singer-songwriting competitions in Scotland and combines music with running a joinery business. He even makes his own musical instruments. So, we're taking a look at his workshop. I'll lead you down this bit of the path. And mind your feet as we go. Like I say, it's not, uh, I've not had a chance to tidy it up. I've got my wee wood burner here. And with my off-cuts, I... The uh, wood burner is not on, it's absolutely... No, I sh I, that's another thing. I meant to light it, I'm sorry. <laughs> we need that so, wee wood burner I on. know, I but should... But I've got my coat on and my scarf, so I'm... <laughs> this workshop, let me just ask you this question. Yeah. How do you work in this workshop? Because there is no space. I know, We well, just about managed to squeeze through this very <laughs> narrow part, which is full of... Logs, yeah. huge logs, yeah. they're cut up. That's right. It's got the work tools. Like, what's, what is that? Is that it's like a, a radial arm saw? Uh, there you go. So yeah. the saw things, a great yeah. big bench that's taken yeah. up half of the room. Yeah. All kinds of bags of stuff. Sort of chucked in just <laughs> randomly. And but sawdust and yeah. bits of wood and dust bins. And You're right. You really about. are truthful <laughs> and descriptive, aren't you? <laughs> This room here, which I'm going to show you, was going to be my little office with my computer and where I take my calls and do my admin and whatnot. But this very quickly turned into a studio instead. And I can have maybe two people in here at any one time. My album and my EP were recorded in here, and I've got this little E09 Roland keyboard, which I, I had my piano sounds on, and I get some basic string sounds. I mean, there's nothing fancy in here at all. You left this doing your carpentry and you're doing work for yourself and you're doing work for other people mm. but I know that you've incorporated this with instruments as well so you're making instruments as well well I've made a couple I wouldn't consider myself a luthier or anything it's more experimentation for me the first guitar that I made was a, a bass guitar I didn't know how to do the neck or anything but I thought I'll just draw a picture of a guitar on this block of wood and I've used it, it's quite short and it's all one piece so the neck joins the body and once I plugged it in and I thought oh this actually works and I kept it and it's hanging on the wall. It was only recently that I did the combitar because doing an acoustic instrument is totally different and obviously it's fragile and it's a, just a completely different ball game from doing an electric one. The most extraordinary instrument that Benny's made is his so-called combutar, which has three necks and 26 strings. 
which combines his love of guitar, mandolin and banduria, a kind of tubby Spanish folk guitar. It looks like a guitar. Yeah, you can tune it like a guitar as well and everything else is guitar-like about it. And the drone, that, that's got a very interesting kind of <laughs> Well, again, <laughs> experimentation. I've got a steel string here, and then I've got nylon strings here. Yeah, so it's a, a little bit c kind of 12-stringy or mandolin-stringy. Now, if we go to the mandolin neck, here's how this sounds. And again, they vibrate some of the other strings as well, just depending on how they're tuned. These ones you don't strum, they're just sympathetic strings, so if they're tuned correctly, it means that you get the... They resonate there as well. And these ones also resonate, but you can strum them as well. Hopefully, we've given people a vision <laughs> of how this thing looks, but we might want to let them hear how it sounds. It's funny how we all sit on the dripper Benny's family came originally from Ghana. When his father died some years back, Benny was keen that his daughters keep up the connection with the old country through his uncle Alex, but that wasn't to be. My uncle Alex, he's a trained lawyer, but he didn't practice that. He liked the arts and theater, and he did some mini-cabbing in between jobs. He was doing some mini-cabbing one Saturday evening. It was a night shift, and these young men the story goes that they took him on quite a long trip through London. One of them got off and then he continued and then I think he got suspicious and then they stopped and residents in the street say that they heard a bit of an altercation going on or some kind of argument and it seems that he was being robbed as the other two passengers were getting out of his cab. And then he got out of his car onto the street and one of the chaps punched him quite hard and it turned out that he was a trained kickboxer. He fell on the pavement, he was knocked out cold and he didn't regain consciousness. Apart from all the obvious devastation, my uh, girls, they weren't going to get that Ghana connection. So it was just like a nightmare. The two men allegedly responsible were not convicted and Benny's anguish in the end became a song called Injustice. Hey! The street can justify no recognition for a life so incomplete. His family torn apart from the inside, from the heart. A man is dead, brother. A man is dead. A man is dead. Free! A man is dead. Tonight, Benny's first on stage at the concert hall in Glasgow. And it's a full house. In fact, a few of the audience seem to know him already. Is that the Edinburgh Posse? <laughs> Hello, Glasgow. And that combutar has a starring role in the song that won him the local talent slot, You Can't Hide. Come inside. You can't 